to the fifth video tutorial in this ongoing series on cool Drupal 7 modules. I am P.D. Warshi, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, I want to continue on uh, from when we were looking at path auto and the sub path auto to continue with kind of search engine optimization, SEO related path modules and look at redirect. So what redirect allows us to do is automatically create redirects or 301 redirects to new pages when you know we change an alias or something changes on our site. And this is a huge boost for us because Google will penalize you if you have a whole bunch of you know uh, pages that they can't find. And so behind the scenes, redirect module will take care of that for you when you're changing your paths. So let's go ahead and grab the Drupal 7 version, head back over to our site and we'll install a new module. And you can just paste that URL into here. So, and then hit install. I've already done that obviously. So I will go back to modules and using module filter from the first video tutorial uh, in this series, I can just type in redirect and you'll see that you get uh, the ability to enable this. So go ahead and do that and then save the configuration. Once you have redirect installed, you can go over to configuration, search and metadata, and you go to URL redirects. And here, excuse me, um, will be a list of all your URL redirects. Obviously when you first install this, you won't have any. So you wanna go over to your settings page and you'll see here, you wanna make sure this is checked off. This is the biggest boost that you can get out of this module. And it's automatically create redirects when URL aliases are changed. So we have path auto, which creates our URL aliases. And if for whatever reason we wanted to change those, this module, you uh, redirect, will automatically tell Google or other users, whenever they get to your site, that, hey, this page has changed, it's now available over here. So check that off. Also make sure that uh, retaining, the, or retaining the query string is also checked off. That's just in the event that you know you get to a page and you have um, some type of data that follows the actual address, and that's usually a you know a question mark something um, that gets passed into the redirect. Your default redirect status here, uh, you can read about these codes at Wikipedia, but essentially these mean different things to, uh, I guess you could say different people, but mostly you're gonna be concerned with what Google thinks, right? So 301 moved permanently is gonna be the default. That just tells Google that the page now exists over at this other address. And then here you can uh, cache these for anonymous users if you wanted to, if you had a high uh, traffic site, you can go ahead and do that. And then a question of whether or not you wanna ever delete the redirects, uh, it's up to you. It depends upon how much you really have. Uh, I usually leave this as never, um, but again, your choice. You can also check um, if you have any existing 404 pages, uh, 404 is not found. So if you can't find a page or you know web crawler or when you're indexing uh, your site, uh, you can't find a page, it will be listed as a 404 error. Um, so that will be listed here. And then you could obviously uh, manually address these if you're installing this after your site's already created. So that's it for the actual module. I'll give you a rundown just so you have an example of what this actually does. Uh, so I'm just gonna create a quick test redirect page here. So this would be test. And you'll see that I've got an automatic URL being created. So let's go ahead and save that. And now I'm at content slash test dash redirect. Uh, that was created because I have path auto created. So if I edit this and now let's say the URL, I don't want it to be automatic. I want this to go to redirect test. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I go to content slash test redirect, I believe it was, it redirects me back to this new uh, URL and does that automatically. And if you go over into your search, you can go to URL redirects. You'll see here, I mean, it's redirecting uh, to node three, which is the internal system path. And then Drupal path auto, or sorry, the Drupal path module will look up the URL alias for that. And you'll see here that node three actually goes to redirect test. The other thing you just wanna check out is settings here, um, update action, we're deleting the old alias. So that's why if I go to list, I don't have two uh, for this actual entry, right? Remember it created an alias first, then I changed the path so that you would think that that alias would still be here but I told Path Auto to delete that alias and redirect automatically kicks care of uh, forwarding people to the new path. So I know that it might be a little bit confusing, but trust me, this is a great module to use. Play with it, check it out. Uh, again, the redirect module. So hopefully you like this. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, always appreciate those, and we'll see you for the next video tutorial. Thanks very much.